Hello everyone, this is Dr. Chawad. Now, vitamin D is a phenomenal vitamin. It's actually a pro-hormone, which means that it makes other stuff. It's good for your hair, skin, nails, teeth, mood, brain, digestive system, immune system. But there's a lot of medical conditions that will cause a deficiency in vitamin D. And when you have a deficiency in vitamin D, yes, it can spawn off to a lot of other symptoms. But before I get into that, if you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below and right next to it is the bell notification because when I upload videos like this, you'll be first to be notified. Facebook watchers, thank you very much. I always appreciate growing audience. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like button. And if you have any comments, please leave them. I always read them and I do answer them. And thanks for watching. All right, everybody, this is Dr. Juwan, and a lot of people don't understand that vitamin D is a def very effective vitamin. We, we need it. It's a fast-soluble vitamin, so either we get it from our foods or we get it through supplemental sources. And I always recommend get, them, get it with a as a supplement, and you need, I always recommend a minimum of 10,000 IUs. Now, I live outside of Chicago, and we only have really you know, three good months of sun. So I'm always talking about, you know, getting vitamin D3, 10,000 IUs. You want to take it with a supplement with food because it's a fat soluble vitamin. You don't want to take it without food because it's not going to be easily absorbed. However, if you do have medical conditions, it's going to hinder the absorption of vitamin D, which will create a plethora of other symptoms. Now, what is vitamin D? Vitamin D is a phenomenal pro-hormone and it's it's needed to help absorb calcium more effectively. It also helps keep proper calcium and phosphate levels. Now, calcium and phosphate are those two ingredients that are needed for healthy bones and teeth. In addition, it stimulates the growth of bones and cells. It helps reduce inflammation. Vitamin D3 is a phenomenal inflammation reducer. It's also good for the brain. It regulates mental health, seasonal affective disorder, aids in serotonin and dopamine synthesis. The serotonin and dopamine, that's your get up and go and that's also your calming neurotransmitter. Now serotonin, FYI, it's produced in the gut. So if you have bad absorption or a bad gut, yes, you're going to, this is why you have like anxiety, OCD, or nervousness. Also, it increases the levels of glutathione in the body. Glutathione made in the liver is our phenomenal antioxidant. Actually, it's a master antioxidant, which helps clean out the body pathways of free radicals. Now, what's, what happens as we get older? So what happens as we get older, we take in vitamin D through our skin, and it's converted to the active vitamin D through the liver and kidney pathway. However, as we get older, due to just the, lo the loss of elasticity in the skin, what it happens, it reduces the ability to make vitamin D. And so it's decreased. So this is why as you get older, you need more vitamin D3. In addition, mobility. So again, if you're not going outside, if you're homebound or you don't go outside regularly, yes, this is one of the causations of you're not getting enough vitamin D. So you may need to supplement it. Skin color. The darker the skin color, now we all have the same number of melanocytes, but we have the different amount of melanin. Melanin is what gives our skin our tone. Okay, I have a nice olive skin tone, so I have a little bit more melanin than somebody who is more pale. Okay, so the darker the skin tone, the more melanin you have. However, melanin also is a double-edged sword. It acts as a blockade. So the darker the skin tone, you're not getting enough vitamin D3. So the darker the skin tone, this is probably one of the reasons why you lack vitamin D. In addition, so how, I mean, how do you get it? Well, you get it through food supplements or be on the sun be on the sun minimal 20 minutes because remember the sunlight we we absorb the sunlight through the skin it gets converted from inactive d3 to active d3 and through the liver and kidney pathway this is also an addition why liver health is so important so if you're pulverizing your liver either diet or medication yeah you're not converting the inactive d3 to active d3 so this is why you may have low vitamin D levels. So either supplement with, supplementing vitamin D3 or with food is very essential. However, let's talk about some conditions that will cause a deficiency in vitamin D3. Now, in no particular order, okay, 
So cystic fibrosis, Crohn's disease, and celiac disease, these are all diseases of the, uh, of the digestive system. So what happens is that it's not going to let the intestines absorb enough vitamin D3 through supplements. So you may actually need to take more vitamin D3 through supplementation, even though you're not absorbing a lot of it, due to those conditions, this is where you need to up it even more. Next, weight loss surgeries. Weight loss surgeries depend on the weight loss surgery. Either they're going to remove part of your stomach, your small intestines. The problem is, if you reduce the size of the stomach and or bypass part of the small intestines, it will make it difficult to consume enough vitamin D3 nutritiously, or what's going to happen is that you're not going to have, you're going to reduce the amount of the nutrients because you don't have those pathways to necessarily break it down. Remember, so when you take in food, you need the help of the gallbladder. Now, again, if you don't, if you don't have a gallbladder, this is another reason why you may be deficient in D3 because when you take in food, the function of the gallbladder is to store and concentrate bile, which is made in the liver, stored in the gallbladder, and it helps emulsify the fats in addition to lubricate the colon. So if you don't have a gallbladder and or if you have some type of bariatric surgery, Yes, this could be the reason why you're not getting in sufficient amount of D3. Next, obesity. Obesity means, again, if you have a BMI, a body max index of above 30. Now, again, this is not bodybuilders or weightlifters. These are people who, who have, who, again, the body mass index of above 30. This is the obese. Now, the problem is fat cells acts as a blockade for absorption of vitamin D. So it's not released. Yeah, you take it in, but it's stored. So it's not released in the system. So usually when anybody has a body mass index of above 30, you need more D3 in your diet, either supplement, I always recommend through supplementation. Next, kidney and liver disease. Remember, so we take in vitamin D in the sunlight. We absorb it through our skin. It goes through the liver and kidney pathway to go inactive to active. In addition, if you are taking a supplemental vitamin D3, sure, it still needs to go through the liver and kidney pathway for that switch to be turned on. Now, with the liver and kidney disease, it's very essential because these diseases reduce the amount of an enzyme needed to convert it. Now, that enzyme is CYPR1. I'm sorry, CYP2R1. Sorry about that. So you need that enzyme to basically turn the switch on from inactive to active. Just again, it's a list of certain conditions that if you have them, you may need to bump up the amount of vitamin D3 for overall health. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, leave them below. Thank you.